Hello, my friends, and welcome. Katie here with Eastwick's Paper and Ink. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today, we are having a celebration hop for Kathy Aranzana and Marla Harris, who is over at Mad About Cards and Crafts. We've got some fabulous prizes being given away. We have some sponsored prizes. So we've got $10 to the greetery, $25 to Cat Scrappiness, two $20 gift cards to Seven Kids Crafts, and a $25 gift card to the Not Too Shabby Shop. We have some additional prizes. Marla is giving away a stamp set from Ink to Paper and a $25 gift card to the Greetery. And Kathy is giving away a $25 gift card to Whimsy Stamps and a $25 gift card to Stampin' Munchkins. Entries close on 10:23 at 11:59 p.m. One winner will be chosen from each stop and then entered into the giveaway for the first seven prizes. Winners are going to be announced over at Marla's channel, Mad About Cards and Crafts, and Kathy's channel on 10:25. So be sure to leave your comments, follow along, and hit everybody on the hop. And uh, you'll be using the hashtag grateful for 1k that's going to be in my title and also at the top of my description box below so let's get started so i went through some of the supplies that i'll be using i've got the uh, skeleton leaves from gina k and i'm going to be using some of my procyon pigment powders if you want to do this technique you do not need procyon dye you could use uh, color bursts or the brusho pigment powders these you know will work the same way so i'm using a piece of 500 series strathmore hot press watercolor paper and i treated that with an anti-static powder tool and i just laid my uh, leaves in a straight column on the left hand side and i'm uh, going ahead i'm inking them up with some clear embossing ink from gina k then I'm going to be uh, adding my gilded embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. And I was inspired by this to make this card because we traveled home uh, late last week and the, we had to drive through the mountains and the leaves were changing and it was just absolutely be beautiful. It had been years since my husband and I um, had gotten to see that um, since we moved to North Carolina. So... Uh, it was really, really pretty to see. So what I did here, because I forgot to turn the camera on, was I just spritzed with a sp water bottle on the left side, right over the leaves. And you can see where I'm kind of angling the spritz, you know, the water now um, with, with some water. And I just wanted to, I didn't want to get the whole panel saturated. In fact, this would have been perfect. Um, I add a little bit more water and that still would have been okay because I wanted to get that edge where you get some of the little speckles uh, towards the right of the leaves but um, I was I didn't have a ton of time so I had to use my heat tool which I don't generally like to do I when it comes to watercolor and stuff like this I really prefer it to air dry um, but it it kind of spread the colors a little bit more than I wanted and deepen them, which is okay. It, it still turned out really nice, but um, next time I, I'll let it air dry um, so that the color doesn't bleed quite so much uh, with that red. And so one of the things, this panel initially, what we're working on right here is I think a five by seven, I wanna say. And so I did trim that down to uh, a four by five and a quarter I believe it was and the little gold strip I showed you I cut at two by five and a half because I'm using an A2 side uh, A2 side folding card base on the I think it's dark chocolate uh, from Simon Says Stamp and um, and I just wanted it to be the length of the card and but and also I only wanted a little strip just to bring out that gold from the embossing powder. Now here you see that I'm going to stamp grateful and for you, but I, I, it failed. I somehow didn't have everything lined up and I really should have left 
you'll see that I should have left the card base right where it is right now and I wasn't really paying attention and I moved it back down in the corner and so I fudged up the the stamping but I'm gonna fix that by um, taking a piece of the matching card base uh, which I do I think it's the Simon Says Stamp Dark Chocolate let me look at this I think I got it next to me yeah Simon Says Stamp Dark Chocolate and uh, heat emboss that see here I got the little it, it didn't blend it didn't stamp and then I went and did it again and it's it's just wrong so uh, dark chocolate Brutus Monroe gilded, gilded embossing powder and I'm gonna pop that up on a little bit of foam and just place that right over the top of that and no one will ever know and then I'm gonna uh, I'm just using these Doris little mini foam squares I got those uh, in a shipment last month, month before, and I want to get rid of them because honestly they're too small and they're kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so just trimming off that little piece of, of uh, dark chocolate cardstock, and then I'm going to start adhering everything, adhering everything. I'm sorry guys, I can't talk today. Uh, liquid glue, art glitter glue, and I'm just lining that up on the edge of my card base and then I will add on the top layer of our main panel. Um, the inside, I didn't, I'm not going to show you the inside of it because I couldn't find my Gina K ivory layering cardstock, which is what I would put inside this. I don't know where it is. I got to find it. Um, but that's what I would layer on the inside because that will go better with the watercolor paper because that watercolor paper tends to be a little bit more off-white um, but that's going to wrap up the card I'm just cleaning up some glue please don't forget click that hashtag in the description box below or in my title and follow along on the hop congratulations Kathy and Marla you guys are fantastic I absolutely love your channels if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please do now and if you haven't subscribed to Marla and Kathy's channel on your way through Go ahead and do that. You are missing out if you're not familiar with them. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you in the next video.